Good morning, everyone. So today has been an interesting day so far. I've edited and published a redesigned video, which has just gone out, it looks good. Uh, I redesigned Hey Taco's landing page. Okay, so the rest of today is gonna to be spent building out that app. Don't know if you've seen the video where I started building out my own app. It's basically something to do with companies' house um, and how companies search for other companies. Um, so gonna be continuing to build that out. But instead of building, out, building it out directly in code, I'm gonna do some design work, kind of figure out what needs to go where, and then if I've got time, start building out like the actual with actual code, but I think that'll probably come tomorrow or the next day. But I do, kind of my aim to, is to get Interlude out by the end of the month, which is August right now. And when I say Interlude, I mean the app which I'm working on. So that's the plan for the rest, rest of today. And then after that, we are then heading back up to London. So obviously it's down in Devon today, as you can see. Um, and then, yeah, so a long train journey this evening. So interesting day to day as a software engineer, which is, basically have no code, it's all just designing. I also think it's worth mentioning that I've just recently redesigned my own personal website and you can go check that out now, it's jacobsargent.co.uk and you can actually buy some of my time to redesign your own landing page. So that Hey Taco video I mentioned a second ago, you can go check that out. If you're a business owner, or you're, just, you know, you're involved in a startup and you want a fresh perspective on your landing page, homepage of your website, etc., you can book that in on my website. And I'll do it for you if you want. If not, don't worry. No pressure and I'll continue on the video. So right now I'm gonna crack on with redesigning or just building out, designing out interlude, kind of how those how those search results are gonna look. Because one thing I found with the basic design which I used in my old video, it kind of didn't like I, I understood how the API worked with what I was what data I was gonna expect expect back, but I don't think it was enough for an MVP. Obviously it made sense, like just to kind of for the video, you kind of saw what I was trying to get at. But I think what I want to work on for the rest of the day is kind of looking at that design, making it like as good as possible and then building it out tomorrow. So the main aim is to get like some type of MB MVP that anyone can sign up for and pay by the end of the month, which is August now. And I think it's like halfway through. So I've got about two weeks to build this out and you're coming on this journey with me. And just to be clear, I am a freelancer. So when you, when I, when you see my old videos going into the office, I'll be going into one of my clients' offices uh, and working on the projects for them. But I don't do that all the time. I also have time to build my own stuff. That's That kind of covers that, I think. So let's get building. Okay, as I mentioned, the mission for this afternoon now really is just to work on the interlude design before catching that train back up to London. You're gonna see a speed round of me working in Figma, trying to figure, work through the API calls, figure out how that's gonna look, and deciding on what's gonna be kind of included in the MVP. So, um, enjoy. I think you guys can gather kind of what I'm going for with this product. Like it's not gonna be anything too crazy to begin with, but it's gonna hopefully become something a bit more like um, what you're seeing me go through or been going through this afternoon is kind of just like the basic bare bones of the product, getting that designed and making that look good. And then obviously we can add on a bunch of bells and whistles and features once we get it in the user's hands. I think if it can be better looking than company's house with a few kind of key features, which I think like having like a, being able to save companies and go back to them and maybe like follow them. So have like a live feed of all their filings. I think that maybe with then also like an accounting period play, that those three features may mean nothing to you, but if you search for companies like in your day-to-day -day job all the time, I think those three things could have an impact. And just something that generally feels good to use. I think if it has those kind of three to four items in it with this MVP, I'll be really happy. I literally need to leave if I can catch a train in a minute. So I'm gonna to have to stop and then probably crack on when we get on the train. But progress is being made and it's really exciting. So, let go. Unfortunately, it has been a few days since that last video, but in this quick last segment, I'm gonna walk you through what's been designed out, kind of show you how I see the product going down from a design perspective, and then you guys can have a good understanding of what I'm gonna be building out uh, in the next episode, or in the next couple of episodes. So as you can see, you should be in Figma with me, and you can see 
So this is kind of just the main UI. So we've got this side menu on the left. And then we've got obviously these like fake search results. So obviously, yeah, it's a pretty simple product to begin with. And this is literally gonna be the first bare bones MVP version. I'm not sure if this will, will even release it, but this is kind of what I'm gonna build out initially. Maybe get some testing from you like potential users, see what they think about it, see kind of where these, essentially what we're doing here is we're kind of building kind of what companies house built like already provides in a nice way. And then we're gonna show it to people and go okay so and then ask and then just generally ask them like what mental steps are you making when you look at this type of data and what can we do for you to make your to kind of make it more convenient so when you search for a company um you know you get the right data how you want it in like the best way possible um, and there's a few other bits I'm going to talk you through in this view in this kind of side menu, which I can show you in a second. So we've got kind of just the main list. And then when the idea is when one of these items is clicked in the page, you can then open it all up and then you can see the data. Um, again, this is just general bare bones data that Companies House provide. There's a lot more we can play with. Sorry, like, yes, yeah, so this is like the bare bones data that Companies House provide. There's a lot more we can do logically on top of that, which will come from those conversations with potential users. Okay, so... This is when you're just clicking in the overview and um, you can see how the UI kind of stays pretty similar. So I'll just show you what all of these items look like, filings, people, periods, and yeah, so just a basic normal one. And then you've got overviews, you've got company type, accounts, and then the nature of business, which is SICs. Interesting, SIC codes aren't actually in the company staff response, so we'll need to figure out a way of getting those. Um, I'm sure there's some repository or something we can use. Uh, and then you've got filings, so it's like a basic filings view so this is all of the accounts that have been filed or any do, do, you know documents in relation to the company they are will be shown on this page and then you'll be able to like toggle between what type of documents etc etc we've got the people's page or the people's tab and this the in the company i was using they had one but lots of companies can have like quite a few so this could be quite a busy page i think one obvious feature that i think we could add in here is like a linkedin profile i'm not sure how like companies like lush should do it but I think I better figure it out. And then finally, we've got periods. You see year end, that's just another idea. But the idea is to kind of show them, show back. So this is kind of with those these first like logical steps we can make from the from the data we get from Companies House. Where we go, okay, we know their account, we know their year end. Let's kind of work back and look at their accounting periods and then show that in a nice way. So this is kind of one of the first kind of logical steps, which I know personally, some people will, will find useful. Um, but obviously we'll find a lot more hopefully when we talk to potential users. So that's pretty much it. Those are the tabs within here. So it's a really simple, like the idea of getting this out really quickly before the end of August, I think we can do it or I can do it. There's a few other tabs here, which I'll talk through now. So your view is the first one. So, you know, I talked about kind of having like understanding like what people want from the data. So the idea is once you've built out a few more features on top, give them the kind of flexibility to completely customize what they're going to see. I think that would be super useful and people like that would turn me on if I can actually customize exactly how I see the company's house data. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So that would be, that's where the your view link will be. Saved is simply like a list of companies that are saved. History, I was thinking something like GitHub's, uh, like the way you can look at your history, you know, the history of your contributions. I think having something like that and then being able to see every company you've searched or like toggled and not just you, but obviously in an organization, I think would be quite cool as well. That's pretty much it. And then settings is just settings. In terms of credits, I think the idea, the, the idea to monetize it with kind of some type of credits system might be a play. I'm not sure. Like, let's just get some users in it first, I suppose. But that's kind of it. That's the basic bones of that's kind of, yeah, <laughs> that's just kind of the product where I think it's at right now. This might not be useful at all. And I think that's okay. Again, like the main, I think, value this product will bring are those like, kind of those logical steps after the facts um now if i know this has been a really bad episode for us as a day in life and software engineer and you've seen no coding but sometimes this is actually what i do i think about that kind of the design logical steps behind it before i actually you know write any code you know looking at this now thinking about components um it's pretty straightforward like this is going to be a component and then within that you're going to have a bunch of other bits and bobs and like everything's going to be reusable and like dynamic and it's going to be a really cool project either way to be building and maybe you make money maybe it won't you know time will tell so that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's been really quick a quick episode uh, kind of a, a really strange episode sorry not much coding as i just said but um i think definitely 
there will be more coding to come in the next episode when we start building this out. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. All right, have a good day. Thanks.